Okay, the La Pavone is back together. This video is just to show uh, my modification on the pressure relief valve. As you can see, I tapped it and installed a uh, little adjustable Allen head screw. So you can see by using just an Allen wrench here, you can adjust this, either turn it in, which will limit the amount of steam coming out, or you can back it out which will allow more steam to escape, which should lower the temperature in the boiler. So, here's a little modification I was playing around with. I, I've got a, a different spring on order. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the original spring, which I've just cut a few coils off of it. But this is the first test, and it seems to be... I haven't taken any temperature readings, but it seems to be functioning as you would expect. As you back the tension off the spring, more steam escapes, and when you run it in, it, it limits the flow of the steam escaping. So, just on playing around by cutting off some of the coils, I seem to have gotten it into a fairly good um, range. Uh, like I say, I do have a spring on order, so I'm going to try fiddling around with it a little bit. Uh, currently, I have the machine on the number one setting, as you can see. And, uh, so I'm just letting it run to kind of see how it responds based on different uh, adjustments here. And, uh, and then I'll be pulling a shot here to see how it takes pretty soon. Anyways, uh, I thought it was a nice little modification. Like I say, you can see the, the Allen head screw there. And uh, basically all I did was just drill out the um, pressure relief housing, I guess you would call it and tap it with a 10 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter tap and then I ordered up a uh, Allen head set screw uh, stainless steel 10 millimeter. So some fun with trying to adjust the temperature on the La Pavone. One of the problems I've run into is after you pull five or ten shots on it the the boiler seems to get a little bit a little bit too hot so I was trying to add a, uh, a means to kind of keep it at a slightly lower temperature. Okay, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, just uh, one final note here. Uh, I've used the machine a few times and it pulls some pretty nice shots, I have to say. Uh, I don't know if it was because I just haven't had espresso for a while or if it was because uh, adjusting the pressure allowed it to run a little cooler, but the, sh the shots were very smooth. Uh, noticeably improved from last week. So, but like I said, it could be just because I haven't had espresso for a while. Anyways, I wanted to show, now that the machine is up to temperature, I wanted to show a little bit more significant um, uh, example of what the pressure valve does. So here, the machine is, is on the, the level one setting, as you can see, and it's coasting along with the pressure uh, adjustment in this position. Now if you listen, I'll back it off and you can see how it allows more steam to come out. So that gives you a little bit more of a dramatic illustration of how it works what, now that the machine's up to temperature. So again, um, using some of the thermal, the, the laws of thermodynamics, less pressure uh, equals less heat. And there's, while there's not an exact correlation due to other variables in, in the system here, uh, the, the basic premise is that as you reduce the pressure on this little relief spring, uh, it will allow the steam to escape more readily, and this should decrease the pressure and thus the temperature in the boiler. So I'm going to try over the next week or so. I've got a different spring on order and I'm going to fiddle around a little bit more, but um, the basic idea is that it should allow me to run the machine slightly cooler than it comes from the factory and also provide some adjustability. So if you want to fine tune the shots, you can always open things up a little bit and <clears throat> bleed off a little bit of the pressure in the form of steam and get the machine running at a slightly lower temperature. So I don't have a PID, but I do have a manual pressure relief valve now. 
Okay. Or I should say adjustable pressure relief valve now. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks.